So Saban Magomedov, the Serbian boxer, receiving a rousing reception on his way to the blue corner. Nagi Osman of Egypt has issued the final instructions. We are in the heavyweight division and this is action from the second preliminary round of the heavyweight tournament. 38 boxers comprised the bracket. So we had a few contests in the round of 64. This one between boxers from Brazil and Serbia. And the boxer wearing red, tucking up tightly to repel this attack, is Abner Tejera da Silva. Competing in his second world championships, having boxed in Yekaterinburg two years ago. And he is the reigning Olympic Games bronze medalist, eliminated at the semi-final stage by the man who went on to take gold, Julio Cesar La Cruz of Cuba in Tokyo a few months ago. The man on the front foot, boxing for Serbia, is Sadam Magomedov. 29 years of age, part of a 12-strong Serbian boxing team and comes to the ring as the reigning Serbian national champion. Second bout of the tournament for Magomedov. Won on a split decision over Amir Buyukdag of Turkey in the round of 64. Tejera received a bite in the first preliminary round. So on this, the fifth day of competition, it's his first bout of the tournament. And he's a man who likes to control the tempo of a bout. Good right hand to the body, nudged in by Magomedov. Hooks around the corner, got through. There's a good right hand to the body, and then a left uppercut through the middle from Tejira. But this one being fought at close range as both men trying to tuck up to repel the onslaught of their opponent and demonstrating... The art of fighting on the inside with bent arm shots, hooks and uppercuts, trying to prise open the guard of the man they're boxing against. Well, not particularly accurate there, but he kept the attack going, did Magomedov, and there's a minute to go <laughs> in this round. And just while Magomedov is getting his guard reorganized, Tejer was across the ring. Looking to work him over, but he couldn't quite find the accuracy with his work. Uppercut on the inside from Magomedov. Good work to the body from Tejera. Terrific punch picking downstairs from the south, pouring red. So Magomedov looking to bob and weave his way back into range. Right hook was partially blocked by the forearm of Tejera. Magomedov swinging and missing. There's a nick around his left eye. They have been caused by the Flashing right hook. There's a good right hook from Magomedov, who then looks to take it to Tejera, who's content to sit on the ropes. Took a hard body shot. Very dangerous practice to cut away from boxing at any time, but particularly when you've got 92 kilogram heavyweight boxers in the ring. I can see what's going on from my commentary position here ringside. But this contest could come to an end at any moment when you've got punchers of this caliber sharing a boxing ring. First round in the book, very competitive round where both men showed their prowess at short and mid-range. Well, there's evidence of the nick around the left eye of Magomedov and Tejera taking the first round on a 4-1 split, excuse me, a 3-2 split. The judges from Hungary and Kazakhstan preferring the work of Magomedov. Well, it was nip and tuck back and forth throughout 
Both men enjoying successes on the inside. Plenty of shots defended effectively as both men climbed inside their gloves and forearms. As we move into the second round. Good work to the body by Tejera de Silva. Increasing the distance now, but look at the right hand success from Magomedov, who kept the attack going. And now Tejera looking to box out of the corner, but he gets caught by a left hook while he's firing away. Good double jab to keep Magomedov occupied. May not have scored, but it prevented him from punching. Nice movement in the pocket and a wonderfully picked right uppercut, followed by a left uppercut. Terrific work in the corner from Tejera, bobbing and weaving near the corner post and letting two uppercuts go, one from each hand. Terrific portion of the round for him. So minute gone in the second round. Brilliant moment of quality produced by the man in red a few moments ago, but then Magomedov comes back with a straight shot salvo of his own. Oh, that's a solid left hand thundered in by Magomedov, and Tejera was just keen to hold on and get himself off the ropes. It may have landed with the inside part of the glove to render it a slap, but make no mistake, it had plenty of pop on it. So beyond the halfway stage of round number two, Tejera looking to hook his way out of the corner, but Magomed reciprocates with the same shot in this all Southpaw encounter in the second preliminary round of action here at the World Championships in Belgrade. Very patient boxer is Tejera as he goes looking for the left uppercut once again. Bobbing and weaving to make the man miss was Magomedov. He came back with a corkscrew right hand, but it was off the mark. So nice use of the legs from Tejera, keeping his composure wonderfully in the boxing ring. Right hook may have got around the rear of the left glove of Tejera from the Serbian boxer. Good use of the left hand. It snaked in between the defenses of Tejera. He, he fires back with work to the body. Nice right hand from Magomedov leading off, but he was countered immediately by a right jab from Tejera. It's another close round once again. Remember, the first one edged on a 3-2 split in favor of the reigning Olympic bronze medalist. But he likes to work at a very slow tempo, does Tejera. Very patient, very efficient, keeping his core magnificently under fire, bobbing and weaving and laying back to ensure none of those shots from Magomedov got through on that forward foray. He then responded with some work to the body. Very good round indeed, both men enjoying success. I happen to think that the man in red edged that second round, but this man was in it every step of the way. So remember the first, a 3-2 split in favor of Tejera, but Magomedov has taken the second round 4-1. So look at that. We have got four scorecards of 19 points apiece going into the third and final round. It has all come down to this. And perhaps the fact that Tejera is boxing principally off the back foot and Sadar Magomedov has been the aggressor, maybe that was the determining factor in see him take, seeing him take the second round on a 4-1 split. Here we saw that southpaw lefty thundered home just a few moments ago during the replay sequence. So it has all come down to a three-minute shootout between two quality southpaws here on the World Championship stage in Belgrade. The reigning Serbian national champion, Sadar Magomedov, is looking to draw inspiration from the support he's receiving from this vocal crowd in the Stark Arena. He fires a left hook around the corner. As well as being the reigning Serbian national champion, Sadar Magomedov, who's initiating a trade-off once again, took three consecutive national titles in Russia in 15, 16 and 17 and 91 kilogram heavyweight division. Bronze medalist in the 2015 European Games, which was the first time I saw him when I was commentating on that tournament. Really is a handful, terrifically conditioned, incredibly determined. 
And he's looking to bring those qualities to bear against the reigning Olympic bronze medalist who is continuing to peck and poke on the back foot. But given the way that second round has been scored, remember there's Aiba live scoring. So Tejera will be aware of this. And I'm not sure boxing in this manner is going to be enough to get it done. He's going to have to produce some really eye-catching work and perhaps on a sustained basis because all of here, see, where Magomedov is scoring with hooks to the body and uppercuts through the middle, Tejera is not responding. He tries to now. He gets through a single left hand to the body, but he takes a right jab. And so you have to say the better of that exchange goes to Magomedov. Now the referee is calling for the inspection of the doctor. Accidental clash of heads has caused an injury to the right eye of the reigning Serbian national champion. And that's significant because if the injury causes the bout to be stopped, we will be going to the scorecards. Not only considering the two completed rounds, but the portion of the half of this third round that has been completed. So a reminder from the referee to both boxers to keep their head up and it's Magomedov onto the front foot once again, taking it to Tejera. He tries to fire back, but look at the work he's taking to the body and the head, clipping right hook upstairs. And Tejera's being outworked here. Tries to establish his right jab and left cross. Good left hook to the body from Tejera. But the front foot pressure of Sadam Magomedov is surely going to pay dividends. But there's a minute to go, of course, and these are 92 kilogram heavyweights who can really punch. So the judges could be re rendered academic and irrelevant if one of them lands their Sunday punch. But it's Magomedov who is riding the momentum and the inspiration that he's receiving from this crowd, riding the momentum that he established in the second round. And he brings about a standing count. And Tejera, well, he does, he's not happy, but he's not doing a good enough job to keep this marauding figure wearing blue at bay. So something of an exclamation point put on the second round by Sadar Megamedov, who has outworked his opponent to land another solid left hook upstairs. Uppercut through the middle of the successful shot. Tejera looking to keep his composure. Lands a good right hand to the body, but takes a right hand over the top. And Megamedov rampaging in the final round, landing a left cross over the top to conclude it. A terrific conclusion to what was a very competitive affair. And I think that it's the man in the other corner, this man, who despite that significant laceration on his right eyebrow, fought his way through the adversity of that injury and simply outworked his man in the third and final round. That's how I see it. Remember, a whole host of scorecards tied at 19 points apiece coming into the third and final round after two completed rounds of boxing. And I think that Magomedov was the busier boxer, letting the shots go, and he was accurate with them as well. Tejera, simply not busy enough for my money. And make no mistake, he was touched up repeatedly during the third round. Let's get the official verdict. And there's confirmation. A split decision victory for Sada Megamedov takes him through to the round of 16 in the 92 kilogram heavyweight division. He eliminates the reigning Olympic Games bronze medalist, and that is how he did it. Four scorecards returned of 29 28. But crucially, Sada Megamedov taking the verdict for four of the judges, and Abner Tejera de Silva eliminated. Courtesy of a hard punching, marauding performance from the reigning Serbian national champion. The man from Dagestan has been taken to the hearts of the supporters here in Belgrade, representing Serbia with distinction here on the global stage. And he goes through to the round of 16. Very good performance indeed, a very good contest, but Abna Tejera is out, and it's Magomedov who marches on.